Another buying signal you have to watch out for is, what about my payments? See, he wants to buy. He's picturing himself in your new vehicle right now, but he's worried about his payments. There's only one answer to that. Mr. Jones, because we do have a buyer and an immediate need, we are often able to keep people at or near their current payments. However, I do have an immediate need for your Cherokee, and I have two appraisal times open on Cherokees this afternoon. I've got a 1215 and a 1245. Which one works better for you? See, it's important, it's critical that we not just go right into payments because he's going to start thinking about payments, right? If we start to get deep into payments, well, how much are you paying now? How many more months do you have left? He starts thinking, gosh, I'm only paying three eighty dollars a month now and I only have five months left. Why would I want to get a new car and add 72 months to my payments? Don't ask these questions, don't dive into these, and don't vomit all the information. I've got a buyer and an immediate need for his 2012 Cherokee, and that's what I have to understand. See, it's important to understand this. You cannot sell an empty seat. The more information we give him, the less likely he is to show up for an appointment at the dealership. And so we've got to keep in mind, I have one goal when I have this guy on the phone, and it's an appointment that shows, and that's it. Here's another buying signal. What time do you close? Now, we've already addressed this, right? If we close at 9 o'clock, I'm going to say, well, I close at 9 o'clock, but my last appraisal time on Cherokees this evening is for 7.15. Now, I've got a 6.45 and a 7.15. Which one of those works better for you? And the final buying signal we'll, we'll go with today. Let's say today's Tuesday, and I have him on the phone, and he says, man, I'm interested. I cannot wait to get a new Jeep Grand Cherokee. I love the new models. I can be in on Saturday. What time do you all open? That's a buying signal. Today's Tuesday. If I set the Saturday appointment, if I fall into this and I even try to do it right, well, we open at 9, I've got a 9.15 appraisal and a 9.45, which one of those works better for you? And he says, well, heck, I'll take that 9.15, see you then. Are we ever going to see this customer? We're not. We just gave him new car fever on a Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Between Tuesday and Saturday, what's this customer going to do? This customer is going to shop. He's going to shop all around. He's going to shop online. He's going to go visit other dealerships. Who is he not going to shop with between Tuesday and Saturday? That's right, he's not going to shop with us. Why is he not going to come and shop with us until Saturday morning? Because he has an appointment. He's an honorable guy. He's planning on buying from us. He really is. He's going to walk into every dealership doing the Heisman. Hey, hey, I'm just looking, I'm just looking, I'm not buying. And between Tuesday and Saturday, he's going to run into a salesperson and they're going to sell him a new vehicle and you're going to see him driving past your dealership in somebody else's SUV. We have to tamp down his new car fever. If he truly can't come in until Saturday, we've got to call his bluff and find out. So he says, hey, I'm interested. I, I can't wait. Uh, I, I can be in on Saturday. What time y'all open? We need to tamp down new car fever by saying, oh, Mr. Jones, gosh, I'm sorry. I do have an immediate need for a 2012 Cherokee. Now I have 10 more Cherokee owners on my list to call tonight. If I can't get one of them to sell me their Cherokee today or tomorrow, I'll go ahead and call you on Friday to schedule that Saturday appointment. How's that sound? If he lives or works in our market, you know what he's gonna say? If he lives or works in our market, he's gonna immediately say, well, I can be in tomorrow, what time do you open? And now we've got him, right? Now we've got an appointment that shows. I'm gonna say, great, Mr. Jones, you just saved me 10 calls. I really appreciate it. Now. Tomorrow on Cherokees, I've got a 915 and a 945 appraisal time. Which one of those works better for you? I have to tamp down his new car fever. But let's say, Steve, what if he's out of town? What if he truly can't get here till Saturday? No problem. I'm going to put a note in the CRM. I'm going to call him Friday night, 645, 7 o'clock. Too late for him to go out and look at other vehicles. And I'm going to schedule that 915 Saturday morning appointment. Because again, I cannot sell an empty seat. So be careful of buying signals because you might think you've got this deal sold. And remember, the more information that you throw on them, the less likely they are to show for an appointment.